In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 5 from experience 14. Annual high temperatures in a certain location have been tracked for several years. Let x represent the year and y the high temperature. At the 0.05 significance level, does the data show significant linear correlation between x and y? First, we need to find the correlation coefficient. We've seen how to do this with Excel and with the graphing calculator. Just to review, Copy the data in, use the corel function, select the x values, comma, then the y values, close parentheses to get the correlation coefficient. Or using the graphing calculator, stat, edit, put the data in. we hit stat, calc, linear regression, enter, enter, and get the R value that way. So we mentioned before if this R value is close to 1 then we have correlation, right? And if it's close to 0 then we don't. And so we need this cutoff of where are we going to say it's significant, right? How close does this have to be to 1 for it to be significant correlation? Well, this depends on the number of data points in your data set. Um, we like to say is the number of rows, right? Each row in this table is, is one data point. And uh, so the number of elements in our sample is the number of rows. In this case, um, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. Okay, so there's 10 rows in the table, there's 10 uh, individuals in our sample. And so the degrees of freedom is 1 less than that, or 9. And uh, if you look up the uh, table, there's a table in the back of the book, at page 660. Um, oh, they do degrees of freedom is n minus 2. All right, so we'll find the degrees of freedom and then uh, there's the critical value there. So the critical value will be the cutoff. You have to be that number or greater to be considered significant correlation. All right, so first let's find out which row of the table we're working with. Um, where our degrees of freedom would be um, 8, right, in this case. Since we have n was 10, degrees of freedom would be 8. Okay, so we want that row right there. So the cutoff for us is 0.632. That means if our correlation coefficient is larger than that, we do have significant correlation. If it's smaller, then we do not. All right, so uh, let's compare and see. Our R value is, in fact, smaller than that. So 0.363 is less than 0.632. So we didn't make that cutoff. And so we would say there is not significant linear correlation. So no. Now, you may get problems where the correlation coefficient is negative. And you'll notice that all these numbers are positive. So you'll never get a negative number to be larger than the positive. If you calculate a negative value for R, uh, just remove the negative sign and compare it the same way, right? Because these are always positive here. So make it positive, and then it must be bigger than these critical values, right? You want it to be closer to 1. All right. Um, so that ends the problem, then.